Hey guys, the thing that has always drives me crazy is the API pagination with N810 or even in code. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to crack it in two minutes with an N810 HTTP node secret option. Most of the time, if you make an HTTP request to an API using the HTTP node, you are going to have a response with several page of results. But in the first response, you only have the first page and then you have a cursor or a token that you have to pass recursively to get the next page or sometimes you have a certain number of page per response and again you have to do this recursively or sometimes it gives you another URL for the next page and then you have to make this loop to check if there is more pages to concatenate results and personally this is driving me totally nuts even as a developer uh, in code. Uh, so thanks to this option is much, much easier. We are going to see two examples, one with the Google search engine, and we already made a video about that here, where I was not using this option, and the other one using the Unipile API, as I've been showing in this video, to send LinkedIn DMs. And this option is simplifying massively the work. Let's dive in. Hey, I'm Alex, N8 an expert, ambassador, and automation consultant for agencies and B2B companies. I share practical AI automation to help you save time, money, and scale your business. Every week, I showcase actionable workflows to boost your results, whether you're an agency or a business owner. So if you want to take your automation to the next level or get a personalized audit of your agency or company, you can book a free strategy call with me. The link is below. So in my previous video with the Google search engine, first we get the data from a form, okay, we want founders of luxury real estate in Mallorca with the ma maximum of three pages. And when we click on the search Google, okay, so we get, this is the first page. And here for the next, next page, we see that we have the start index. And from there, we were needing to uh, wait here five seconds to not uh, block the Google Sheet API, add it to the Google Sheet, and then we add here some complex code about uh, the pagination, some complex logic, and then we have to check if um, we continue the loop, if we still have pages, and then we look back here. Well, this is complex uh, logic, really annoying that I absolutely dislike, and look now, how how we do it. So we say so the same from submission, from there we get the fields and here, okay, let me start from scratch to show you how it works. So this is where this option is hidden. In options, we go to pagination. And in pagination, we have several possibilities. We can update a parameter in each request or sometimes you have a response that contains the next URL. And so here in the query, the name, as you have seen before, is start index. And how we get them, so we go, we make an expression and here we always begin with the response and then the body and start index. And here the pagination is complete when we have reached the limit of pages. And in our case here, we have it here in the previous node is the max pages. So we pass it here. Okay. And we want to wait five seconds between each request. So now we execute this. Okay. And now three items, each one being a page. And as you can see, it's much more simpler. Okay, next example. Last time I have done this video where you get uh, the comments using the Unipal API in order to send DMs. If you have not watched this video, watch it. So from there, I was getting a post from a database, the post that I want to comment, and I was doing a loop here. And, and from there, okay, I was initializing the cursor 
and getting the command from post. And in this case, it was sending a cursor in the response. And then I have to check if we have more pages, if the cursor exists, and then to concatenate the comments and come back here. And it was not working properly. So I was turning crazy. I asked Gemini and Gemini show me this option. And it's really a game changer for me. So we go from there to there much better. So here, okay, we get the selected posts and in our HTTP node here, again, we activate the pagination mode. Again, we update a parameter in each request. And here we have the cursor, so response body cursor. And the pagination is complete when there is no more cursor, when the cursor doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and we want to wait also five seconds. So we execute it here and Unipile give you 100 uh, comments by page. So normally there was three pages here. Okay, so here we have the items and you can see that total count to total items 231 and here total count 231. And so he has not, he, he has returned all the items here. Okay. So now you know how to paginate easily without turning crazy, thanks to this option. And you can download the example templates just down below. And if you like my video, please subscribe. And if you run an agency or B2B company and want an expert automation consulting, book a free strategy call with me. The link is below. And let's audit your processes and unlock real growth for your business. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe, like, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Bye. See you in the next one.